Once again, the season of Lent has begun with Ash Wednesday. And traditionally in Christianity, Lent is associated with a time of penance, a time of sacrifice, restriction. Uh, we need to give up something. It's, it's in church, church people will often ask each other, what are you giving up this year? And for some reason, I feel that it almost has become as a, to the point to be a performance. It's the more you give up, the best, the better you are. Uh, some would say, I will give up Facebook or social media as a whole. I will not eat dessert. I will give up coffee. And if someone find meaning in this, that's great. But once again, time is uh, Lent is not a time for us to be miserable. <laughs> That's not the point of Lent. Lent is a time set aside to prepare ourselves for Good Friday and Easter morning. I'm using both of them because sometimes we tend to focus, depending on the church denomination or tradition, we tend to focus on one or the other, like the crucifixion of Christ, and yeah, he got resurrected, or the resurrection, oh yeah, he died. But you cannot have one without the other. If Jesus just died on the cross and nothing else happened, it would be like many other stories from the Middle East from this time. And logically, you cannot have resurrection without someone dying. So you need both of them. And that's what during Lent we're invited to remember, to recall. In fact, this is, the story is at the center of our faith. It's, it's more important than Christmas because yes, Christmas got all the media and, and publicity and everything, and it's a great story. But once again, it's the very good story of the birth of a child. Easter, resurrection, brings a little something else, an extra layer to our faith. In fact, with Good Friday and resurrection, you have the affirmation that death does not have the last word. Pain, sin, tribulation, do, do do not last forever. And most importantly for me, through resurrection, we have a vindication of Jesus' message. That's for me at the heart of the message. God saying, you know what Jesus preached? Well, that is good news for all. And this message cannot and should never be silenced. And it needs to go on. It needs to be repeated. It needs to inspire. So those who try to silence Jesus, well, you miss. And that's the center, this message, this core belief at our faith that we need to prepare ourselves to remember the story and maybe to give ourselves opportunity for renewal, for new beginning. With the beginning of land, we can remember that story and said, well, you know what? I can start a new. I can take back my life. I can make something positive around me. So instead of giving up something, maybe we could prepare ourselves by doing more, not less, more. For those who like to pray, pray more. Pray for people you never pray for before. For those who read the Bible, who wish they should read the Bible, try it. Read a little more. Maybe you can volunteer at, at church, any organization. You can give. You can give money. You can give time for loved ones, for friends who are struggling. And not doing this saying, oh, I'm hurting brownie points like God will love me and I will secure my place in heaven. No. Once again, to prepare ourselves to affirm this message that Jesus came to, 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 to proclaim, to commit ourselves for a new renewal of creation, 
to create what has been called the kingdom of God or the kingdom of God or realm of heaven. This new world for all, all will be value, all will be important. That was Jesus' message. So to start with this attitude, start land with this attitude, it could make land very positive. It could make land a time of new beginning. It could make time an exciting time. So smile, be happy. We're beginning Lent. We're walking toward the greatest news of all. And it's up to us to prepare ourselves, maybe by doing more. Thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Reverend Stéphane Vermette. I'm the lectionary man. And until next time, take care of yourself and bye-bye.